Mauna Loa is a very active Hawaiian volcano with over 30 eruptions since the mid-1800s, but in the mid-1900s it actually had a secret eruption. On April 26, 1942, the summit crater began erupting. Within less than a day, its flow spread along the northeast rift. The eruption lasted for 14 days, covering over 12 square miles of land, but it was to be kept secret. By 1939, most of the world was engulfed in war. Hawaii's National Park was used as an army headquarters, a bombing and training area, and a camp for Japanese internees. Wartime restrictions in Hawaii continued with nightly curfews, blackouts, rationings, and censorship. It was just four months after Pearl Harbor was attacked when the eruption began. A fissure erupted along its northeast flank, producing fountains as high as 290 feet. The military feared the Japanese could use the glow from this eruption as a guide for their warplanes at night. So, American officials declared the eruption a secret and restricted the news media from covering the story. Then, they actually tried to stop it. Hawaii District's military governor, Pinnell, would have the army try to stop the advancing flow with targeted bombing. So what happened? Well, the Air Force deployed 16 bombs. Each of them weighed about 300 to 600 pounds. They targeted lava tubes and channels that fed the flows. But with little success, perhaps some of you are unsurprised. The flows actually came within seven miles of Upper Waiakea. Then, they stopped. Fourteen days after the eruption began, it stopped. All on its own, no bombing needed. The 1942 eruption is special for several reasons. First, its status as a secret kept the press from publicizing the eruption, even as flows advanced. Next, an attempted lava diversion is a big deal, but it was actually the second time this was attempted on a Mauna Loa eruption. And third, volcanologists predicted the timing and place of this eruption, making it a key part of volcanology, geologic history, and natural disaster response and research. If you'd like to learn more about volcanoes, rocks, and geologic history, join me on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.